Family and friends are absolutely heartbroken by the death of a mother and her baby boy in a terrible crash. It's sad. You know, she was a wonderful mom, and, you know, she's, we lost a, you know, beautiful little baby. Today, we learned that nine-month-old Noah was taken off of life support. His mother, Christina, was killed instantly in that crash. And relatives are asking people tonight not to jump to conclusions about what caused her to cross over the center line. Ken McLeod is live in Oxford tonight with some new details in the case. Ken? David, state police spent a few hours on this busy curb near the Charlton line this afternoon trying to better understand this accident. This spot has a troubled history, some 30 wrecks since 2003, and some argue a Jersey barrier is overdue. As state police finished up their accident reconstruction this afternoon, an aunt's grief had no end in sight. It's just horrible. I wouldn't, wouldn't want anybody to have to go through that. It's, it's just awful. Her niece was heading for work yesterday morning with two young sons to be dropped off at a relative's when their Chevy, for some reason, veered across the center line and was hit head on by a cement truck. Yeah, it's hard to think about it again, over and over again. Robes Pierre Lafleur saw everything. The mangled Chevy careened into his Mercedes, and he and his son then got out to help. And that's when my son said, Dad, she's gone. Indeed, 31-year-old Christina Russin was killed instantly, and nine-month-old Noah died at the hospital a short time later. Only two-year-old Carter survived with relatively minor injuries. You know, they're together. You know, Noah and Christina are together, and, um, you know, that's, that's a help. 18 years ago, we were victims of this highway. The tragedy brought Lisa Brodeur back to this stretch of Route 20 today, where a drunk driver killed her husband and paralyzed her son some two decades ago. The DOT says safety improvements for this sharp, hilly curve are on the long-term drawing board. We need barriers. We cannot wait 10 years or more for barriers. We need them now. But at the same time, this aunt knows that witnesses say it was Christina Russin who veered into oncoming traffic, and she asks we not rush to judgment. You can't assume she was on the phone, she was distracted. Uh, you know, it's, it's a bad corner. Accidents happen. Family tells me the injured toddler, Carter, could be released from the hospital in as little as a couple of days. Now, Christina Russin also has an older son, 11-year-old Isaiah. He was at school when this happened. Live in Oxford tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Paula, back to you. Ken, thank you.